time and money by skipping business trips and using GoToMeeting. Visit GoToMeeting.com slash tech podcast and get 30 days for free. Randall Bennett from TechBee.com. We're joined by one of our best friends, Rich Demuro, who is a tech. He's yes. also a contributor to TechBee on occasion as well. Rich, how you doing, man? I'm excellent, Randall. How are you? Doing well. It's a good time at the CES. It seems like a pretty good year. Things are picked up from last yeah. year, especially. So, what sort of? I mean, a uh, whole list of stuff here. What sort of some of your highlights of the show? You know, I mean, obviously you have the basics. I mean, this show is all about 3D TVs and the e-readers. Yeah. I mean, that, if you could boil down CES 2010, it's That's pretty much. Really are we saying 2010 or is it? You know, I think 2010 is easier than 10. No, 2010. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think that really it's been the 3D TVs and the e-readers are cool, but. A, I'm not buying either of those yeah. in the next year. E-reader, maybe, but it's just not there. We just picked up there. one for the Christmas. So, like, they're starting to come down in price. We've seen, uh, there's one from, um, totally forgetting the name now. But Plastic it's like, Logic. No, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, like, the social, it's like the social e-book reader. It's like 250 for Oh, you need like a second one. person to read with you? <laughs> no, not quite. Close you can't enough. read by yourself? Yeah, exactly. But no, so we're seeing a drop in price. It makes it a little bit more appealing. But still, I mean, there's the Plastic Logic Q, which is one of yeah. the ones that sort of a little bit of a show stealer. I feel like it's a little bit of a breakout. I don't know. I do. I, I definitely, I mean, I, I sat there, I looked at, you know, there's a whole section of e-readers here at the show, and the Q is the one I stayed there the longest. I mean, maybe I have a little of a love for the word Q. <laughs> nice. We used to do a show called The Q. My, my past, Actually, we produced it together. We did. It's, it's it, a good old Randall time. did a good job. Yeah. Um, but, but, but so this, it, it's like a really thin ice, right? It's I mean, very for, thin. For months, they showed only the profile, like, super sleek, super thin. But then when they turned it on the front, you see all of a sudden that it's got a border about yeah, three inches thick, border. which, you know, it's fine. They need and it does a lot and it's a really cool thing. And this is sort of the future. When they showed the USA Today on the front of that, I just had a flashback of Back to the Future where, you know, <laughs> yeah. where he like sails across the thing and then all of a sudden the newspaper changes. Yeah. That's what this looked like. Yeah. And that is awesome. So, you know, I think that one's going to be pretty cool. The price is a little high. I heard it's like $650. Yeah, it's going to be a little soon. I feel like, you know, we're sort of, the beginning edge of these ebook devices, you take off. I mean, there's people who say, if we see an Apple slate, I mean, things are kind of over for ebook readers, which I'm not 100% agree. I don't agree with that 100%. Well, if it doesn't have ink, then how yeah. could it, I'm not gonna read a, I, you know, I look at a thing. screen all day. If you look at a day. screen, your eyes get tired, yeah. all that stuff. So if it, unless the slate, which this may be its magic formula, maybe it's a, a monitor and- A combo e-ink. E like there's that, that. there's that one technology. That, there is one that's out there that does that. Throwing so. it out there. Yeah. Um, Other stuff we're all right, seeing. let's see. Well, some of the stuff that I saw that I really liked uh, I don't know if you saw this dash thing from Sony. Yes, yes. I think that's cool because I love the idea that, you know, once you have a hot spot in your house, your entire house is pretty much connected to wherever yeah. you want. So I love the idea of like digital frames that have pictures that are coming mm. from wherever. Definitely. Um, and this little dash device is basically a little internet connected. It's like a it's picture sort of like, frame on steroids. Of, it's sort of like Chumbi. Right? With Chumbi. It's like, it's like a widget platform where you could look at things like the weather or stocks yeah. or, I don't know, lots of other little information centric things you want to see on occasion. Like and Chumbi is built in. They actually use- Oh really? I didn't, I didn't realize they used Chumbi's platform. Uh, yeah, they actually use the Chumbi platform in the corner and you can make it full, you know, come to, well, it's not full screen, it's four by three, the Chumbi, yeah, that's yeah. the way they invented it. But uh, yeah, so it, I mean, I think that's kind of cool where you're just sitting there, it's on your kitchen counter or Definitely. just near your couch or whatever. And there's just information flowing on that exactly. thing. I love that kind of stuff. We saw some other stuff too, uh, bloggy HD camera. That's from Sony, right? It's As also well. Sony. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a neat little camera because that it has like a 3D lens on it. Oh, cool. So so you can sit there and just take a picture of all around you, and then they actually have software that flattens it out. Nice. So, so you could, I mean, you can embed it in your website, and people could actually like see what was around you and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, stuff. it's you know for live casting or you know if you take a trip to Times Square, it's pretty. Yeah, neat. exactly. Interesting for sure. Um, yeah, you know, this is one thing that I think is really cool, and it's a little idea, but the Skype TV. I mean, yeah, we anyone have, we could. Have a video of that up and it, it seems like I don't know. Skype TV is the 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 closest we'll get to the video phone. Uh, sure. I mean, I feel like. The 720p, like, it's nice to be able to just put a camera on top. At the same time, I'm kind of not 100% sure people want it, but... It's weird camera staring at you all day, exactly. you know? So it's like you're sitting there on your couch watching TV and you're like, oh, am I on? Am I not I on? someone's not watching. You know? Right yeah, and maybe maybe that'll be a new thing. Ooh, watch TV with your friends. That yeah. kind of, I mean, that kind of stuff's coming too. Yeah. But... Uh, TVs in general, though. I mean, yeah. last year we sort of saw widget, Yahoo Widget Engine sort of migrate its way onto some Samsung LG TVs. This year it seems like everyone has some sort of internet connected TV at the high end. It's sort mm -hmm. of trickling down a little bit to the middle, but it's still an uh, exclusive high end thing. I mean, was there anything, I mean, of course 3D was like one whole side of the equation, but yeah. as far as the connected platforms go, was there anything that really caught your eye other than the Skype? I mean, there was some Netflix, there's some yeah, Twitter. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's all, that's where it's going. Yeah. You know, I mean, every TV you get is, is gonna have some sort of connectivity, which is great. I really like that idea. 
like I'm, you know, like I said before, when you have a Wi-Fi network in your house, why not embrace wow. it as much as possible? Have uh, this information flowing to you. I feel like the the interfaces on them, a little bit slow. Yeah. It, it's buffery. It, it feels. It doesn't feel that polished. I mean, my phone feels polished, right? Like you yeah. click something, something's always moving. But when you use like a Windows phone, it feels kind of glitchy. We're sort of at that Windows Mobile yes, glitchy, annoying exactly. phase, whatever. Like you I may see. not want to check your weather on there because it might be a, too much of a hassle. Exactly. And you if that's going to happen, or, yeah, who no. wants that? No. But I do so, love the idea of you know in tweets showing up while you're watching a show. Especially, I mean, if, if you're watching, you know, friends. I mean, there's a hashtag for friends. That'd hey, be interesting. Hey, so. I love that. There, so there you go. The other stuff. You know, was there any misses where you really were like, you know, this is a device that I looked at. Really, it seems like they tried really hard, but it just really didn't work for me. I don't know. It was, we've been at a bunch of these events over the week. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people showing off some, some. I don't know. I mean, for me, the one off the top of my head, 3 TV is a platform. It's yeah. sort of that to me. It's like it's sort of a miss. I mean, I want to believe in it, and I think that it, I mean, I love seeing 3D movies. I think they're really in the theater. And I think even some of the 3D TVs were pretty cool, especially the ones without the glasses, like if you don't need there, the glasses. There's some lenticular ones where it's like a lot of, it's like those little cards you can wiggle and they're 3D right. or whatever. And what I did was I actually took a pair of the glasses, one of the disposable glasses, because yeah. this is this whole new ecosystem, this competition of who's going to have the standard. Because yeah. whoever gets a the glasses standard. glasses form war. I, yeah, it is. That's what it is right now. And I think that it's it's interesting because you go around and every one of these TVs has a different format for their glasses. So I just took one of the pair of disposables Disposable. and just took them around and, you know, didn't work See, on any of the yeah. other TVs. It's a little frustrating because it's just like, it's the same thing that happens HD, with me. All those memory card formats. It seems like Sony has got, you know, Sony, I'm sure, has the exclusive pro memory stick duo uh, Glass Doom. So, yeah, uh, we'll but see. did you see Sony came out with SD cards for the first time ever? What's going on? Sony Breaking with news. SD cards? But they like, said in their release they still prefer memory stick yeah. and it's well, still actually, better. And Sony, like the Touch Edition book reader, has both memory stick and SD card, which I at least appreciate the, a modicum of standards compliancy from Sony. And also, yeah. and they also have like EPUB, so they're moving towards. They have come a long Sony. way since the. Uh, track or well, soundstage. Uh, or like, I would, yeah, exa soundstage. That's <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. Nightmares. Yep. Anyway, Rich Tamiro from Tech Meme. Thanks for coming on the show, man. I really appreciate Randall, it. Randall, it's fun. It's good to be here. You guys are doing great lights. things. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome stuff. So don't forget links to Rich's stuff and all this stuff over at techme.com. You can check this out on YouTube. We're everywhere. So uh, try and catch us somewhere. See ya. And Twitter. Rich Tamiro.